Hey everybody, John at Freshwater Systems. Today we're talking about microns. We get a lot of, of products that refer to microns. So today we're going to dive into that a little bit to help you understand what a micron is. A micron is a unit of measure. So when we're looking at getting rid of particulate in the water supply, for example, we go through a series of filter cartridges, and these are sediment cartridges typically that we're dealing with microns. Uh, so a particulate can have a certain size to it, and depending upon the load of particulate in the water that you're filtering, we might want to use a specific micron rated filter so that we capture that stuff before it goes downstream. A sediment filter is kind of like your screen door at home. We want to get the airflow, but we don't want the flies. So we have a mesh that stops the fly, but allows the air to flow through. Well, a sediment filter works the same way, except the debris and the particulate that we're trying to get out is a lot smaller. When we get below 35 microns, then we're not going to be able to see it without a microscope to help us. So a filter that is rated to remove debris at 25 or 20 or 10 micron, as you can imagine, that's getting pretty small. And these filters are almost solid except for they have a certain pore structure that allows the water to flow through but captures that particulate at that particular size. So the question is, what's the best filter or what's the best micron size filter for me? What, what should I use? Well, that's going to totally depend on your water supply. If I'm treating well water, um, typically I'm going to expect some dirt and debris to come out of that well water. Well, I'm going to start maybe with a 20 micron there. But the thing to always keep in mind with this type of filtration is every water supply, every well is going to be different. It's going to be different even on a municipal supply. New York's a great example where that dirt and debris is super fine. Well, in, in New York, we're going to want a filter that might even be down to one micron, if not smaller, to capture all of that really fine particulate. So there's a little bit, it's going to vary from place to place. Another consideration for a micron rated filter is going to be are you, what you're trying to get out of the water. A lot of times we're uh, protecting our household from cysts. Cysts are parasitic bacteria that can wreak havoc with you and make you very, very sick. Most municipal water supplies work very hard to keep that out of your water supply. It is possible for cysts to get into the city water supply. So it's good to have a filter for point of use that is rated for cyst reduction. And that's typically a micron rating of one or less. But the filter should also be tested and certified for that cyst reduction. So a question comes up a lot about pressure drop. The pressure drop refers to what pressure is going into the filter versus how much pressure is coming out the filter and the difference is pressure drop. So anytime you're gonna flow water through some media like a, this melt blown filter or, or a resin bonded filter, as you can imagine, there's gonna be a level of restriction. So the water is gonna have a little bit of restriction going through the filtration media. Now from a sediment filter standpoint, that pressure drop is how we determine it's when it's time to change the filter because it's collected enough debris that that pressure drop has increased. Out of the box, typically there's not a lot of pressure drop through these. When that pressure drop gets bigger, that's a good indication that we've collected enough dirt on the filter that it's now becoming more and more restrictive and we're losing pressure. Another thing to look for in terms of micron rating are the terms nominal and absolute. Most filters are going to be nominal, but you can buy absolute. The difference is nominal would be associated with the word about. So a nominally rated filter uh, will have a plus or minus factor. 
um, it will allow a certain percentage of, let's say it's a five micron filter, it'll allow a percentage of five micron debris through. An absolute filter is over 95% efficient, which means it's not going to let hardly any of that micron rating through. So very simply, nominal is about, absolute is what it is. So if you have an instance where you absolutely have to get a certain level of debris out of the water, you might want to look at an absolute filter over a nominally rated filter. Well, that's all I've got on micron rated filters. Be sure and like this video, subscribe to our channel, and check us out on our website, freshwatersystems.com.